Hello and welcome to Hadoop exam learning resources. In this session we are going to cover uh, MapReduce counters introduction and later on we will see uh, what are the counters types available and at last we will see the how counters are propagated over the your whole Hadoop uh, MapReduce job. Okay, so let's first try to understand what exactly is the counters. So as name suggests counters are the values which are being counted while your job is running right when your job is running you want it to get some uh, statistics okay so let me define in one line like how this counters together matrix and statistics or statistics about your uh, job which is being running for analyzing or performance tuning or to find the bugs in the later on so how exactly it help us to find the bug into the code so let's pick up uh, one example here like this is the use file you are processing that is terabytes of file correct now your whole map reduce framework like let me draw the diagram so this is job tracker task tracker and map reduce task are processing this so this is the job tracker and this is the task tracker and these are the map task correct running it so now while your job is running so some counters are being defined over here so to calculate the value of like how many bad records in your file so or some another condition i'm just giving the simple example to like bad records but there could be any other condition like if your record is having country value as us you wanted to count it out like like your huge file millions of records in this and you wanted to fi find how many records contains the us as a value and this kind of things you wanted to do and another analytics you wanted to do you can just define the counters and you get this kind of information so now second thing you can like how you can identify like bug in the code so the bug in the code means not compile error or any kind of thing your wrong condition is checking like in your file actual data is coming as a us in a small letter and now you are taking us as a conditional check if us equal to equal to country value whatever your conditions correct and actually your value is coming as a us in a small letter and you are comparing can capital letter so output of this counter like country is a us would be zero but and when you open the file and you see really the there is a us countries exist so you will find it out like oh we have missed the condition like it's small us we have used it but actually the us is the bigger one so this kind of bug you can find it out using the counters and the next if any file is corrupted then also you can identify like you are expecting the output should be the 10 millions of records and now output is coming only like 10 thousands of records in the file so you can find it out like some records has been corrupted and not being processed kind of thing so this kind of things you can identify using this job so what are exactly types of counters available uh, so let me put it over here first okay just so there are many types of counters available so uh, let me draw the diagram over here the counters correct in the so there are some built-in counters the counters which is already provided by the Hadoop framework that is called built-in counters and another type of counters is like user defined counters the counters defined by the user that is called user defined counter. and building counters also can be divided in two part two part the task counters like counters which are uh, counted at the time of individual task is running like either map task or either reduce task so this is considered a ta uh, task level counters and another is a job tracker job counter which is like calculated on the job level so like number of map tasks if you wanted to find it out so because you know like uh, your job is aware the like job tracker is aware like how many map tasks has been launched or how many reduced tasks has been launched so this type of counters you can easily get from the job tracker level so that is why it is called job tracker level counters 
so these are the type of the counter so let me show you how exactly this counter propagates once the counter value is uh, like calculated on the map task level how this can be calculated at the and propagated up to the job level so again let me draw the diagram to show you the same thing so uh, how exactly uh, like uh, let me draw the diagram over here so your job starts like this correct uh, this is job trigger correct so each job trigger will have like your job would have one job trigger another is a task trigger okay so there are multiple task trigger based on each node so this new task trigger could be executed on the node level and one and two and three these are the node and this is your master node okay which controls everything now each task trigger will start multiple map task let's say m1 m2 m3 three map tasks is started similarly it started m4 and m5 two tasks has been started it has started m6 m7 m8 so total here you see six plus two eight map task is being running now the counters like if you are using task level counter then its individual task counter would be calculated over here correct and then finally this aggregated on each map task level this counter and then this would be pushed this counter value to the this task trigger level similarly map task will push this the counter on this task trigger and this to the this task trigger and all the counters value would be aggregated over the task level and this happens periodically okay and similarly this also push this task counter and this counter and aggregated over here on uh, what are task trigger level and similarly over here. and once this is done over each task and task trigger is finished then before finishing it also push the whatever the counter value to the job level so whatever counter name you have given or predefined counters built-in counters will be transferred to the job trigger and next this counter value is aggregated over here once whole counter values are aggregated and finally as soon as your job is finished this counter value would be available either the job trigger ui and uh, secondly this is also available and the logs of your job trigger uh, jobs out log output correct on the screen you can see how many map tasks is executed how many like this kind of counter information reduced task is executed kind of and once surprise happens over here while processing and aggregating this counter some counter value go up sometimes and sometimes you see your counter value is going down so what could be the reason for this counter going up and down the reason for this counter to be going up and down as we have discussed like whenever your job is running there is a possibility any map task could have failed so as soon as this map task is failed all the counters value has been incremented by this map task will be reduced from the actual total of this counter and then from this counter to this job level counter so if you see initially your counter value was 1000 and suddenly it has reduced to the 900 because 100 counter value has been incremented by this task trigger and this task trigger has failed in between so your job trigger will say now i'm going to start this task this map task to the another node and start again start incrementing this counter value based on the records is being processed 981 902 kind of thing so this is the reason your counter value keep increasing and decreasing so this is the reason where we have discussed so thanks for listening today we have discussed like counters and types of counters and how counters are being propagated in during the whole job so this is part of the hadoop exam uh, learning resources session so for full detail and for full sessions you can go through the our paid subscription we have multiple products related to big data so let me give you the uh, what products we are having so like we have hadoop professional training which is right now having 
uh, 15 modules training this which is uh, theory session plus hands-on session it contains how to create a single node cluster and kind of thing in future we also add the uh, multiple node cluster so this training videos you can see while getting the paid subscription secondly we have exam simulator this is like this is developer simulator that is uh, for the exam Hadoop a developer simulator either you are appearing for the cloud era certification or Horton work certification you can use this uh, practice question this has 200 practice questions this simulator for the developer and plus revision notes so this is just 15 piece revision notes which can help you to save a lot of time while you are preparing the your Hadoop exam developer exam similarly we have 30 the 200 and 40 is almost 40 questions for admin certification preparation so admin certification for Hadoop you can prepare and we are about to launch another product that is HBase certification so keep visiting us to get uh, like regarding HBase related uh, stuff like we initially will be launching a uh, certification simulator which would have some uh, around uh, 150 plus practice questions uh, to appear into the HBase certification exam so thanks for listening and keep visiting hadoopexam.com this is the spelling hadoopexam.com so th th this website will give you a free as well as paid resources for learning the Hadoop so keep visiting us thanks for listening you will find more resources from us in future